A new alliance will end a bitter rivalry and unify the game of golf across the globe. Earlier this week, a deal was announced to combine the PGA Tour and Saudi-backed Live Golf. Donald Trump was among those who praised the controversial alliance. Not only does he have a long-standing relationship with Saudi Arabia, the deal could actually benefit him financially by bringing major tournaments to Trump-owned golf courses. But this alliance has been condemned by many others, especially 9-11 families who were shocked by the announcement. My next guest, who lost her husband on 9-11, and the 9-11 Families United Organization released a statement saying, quote, the PGA and Commissioner Jay Monahan appear to have become just more paid Saudi shields, shills, taking billions of dollars to cleanse the Saudi reputation so that Americans in the world will forget how the kingdom spent their billions of dollars before 9-11 to fund terrorism, spread their vitriolic hatred of Americans, and finance al-Qaeda and the murder of our loved ones. Make no mistake, we will never forget. Joining me now is Terry Strada, National Chair of 9-11 Families United. Terry, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. How offensive was that announcement of the deal between the PGA and Live Golf to you and the other members of the 9-11 Families United organization? It was extremely offensive. Back when Liv made their announcement, the PGAT was in alignment with us. They understand that this is nothing more than a sports washing entity. And now they've just given it a larger platform. And we're very concerned about what all of this means. And so let's be clear, Terry, it's not just you and your position on this. PGA Commissioner Jay Monahan, he actually warned PGA players last year about joining Live Golf, especially with Saudi Arabia's history of human rights violations. But with this week's past announcement, he did a complete 180. Take a quick listen to the evolution of his position. I would ask, you know, any player that has left or any player that would ever consider leaving, have you ever had to apologize for being a member of the PGA Tour? We're announcing to the world that on behalf of this game, we're coming together. And it's, it's less about how people respond today, and it's all about how people respond in 10 years. You know, Terry, he's gone on record saying that they've spent $50 million in litigation expenses so far with years of protracted litigation ahead. It really does send the message, though, it's profits over people. It's, it's this idea that your husband and the other victims of 9-11 just don't matter when the dollar signs are big enough to be able to put those two entities together. Oh, absolutely. When the bully in the room, the biggest bully in the room, has the most money, you know, sometimes they win. And that's what's happened here right now with this proposed merger, that the kingdom thinks they've won. But we're here to say they haven't won anything yet. They cannot take a victory lap. First of all, it hasn't even been approved by their board. And I do believe Congress is going to take a very close look at what this means as this now global monopoly. Think about every person that wants or every kid, every boy, or, you know, girl that wants to pay on the L for the, the PGAT, now has to work for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia if they want to play professional golf. There's a lot wrong with that picture. Jay Monahan became very afraid, not just of what he was spending, but what was going to come out in discovery. Because in that, you get their emails, you get their financial statements, you get everything. And I think he was running very scared. And yes, he threw the 9-11 community under the bus. But he also has now given us this our platform can get louder and stronger as well. And we will continue this fight against the kingdom in the court. We have a mammoth lawsuit against the kingdom. And that's what everybody kind of forgets. We're not just out here saying what they're doing is wrong, sports washing is wrong. Yes, it is, because they're trying to change the image and the fact that they were the ones spending their billions of dollars underwriting terrorism all those years leading up to 9-11. And I don't feel we are safe as long as the kingdom is still out there funding terrorism. Terry Strada, thank you so much for being here today, and, and, and especially for grounding us. I think a lot of times we get lost in the headlines, and we kind of get lost in the emotion of those headlines, and we forget that we need to honor the memory of your husband and those from 9-11, um, and that there's a bigger fight that needs to be had. So, Terry Strada, again, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.